invention, reinvention is precisely what my company does. Um, Brightline is a an interactive television design firm, and um, we like to say that we're revolutionizing television advertising. And the reason we feel that way is because in an age where television is under fire a bit um, as its primacy as an ad medium because of technology solutions like DVRs that allow uh, television audiences to actually skip ads. Um, what we're finding as a company uh, over the last five and a half years is that it is finally TV's opportunity to prove its power um, through measurable uh, data um, that suggests at this point that while technologies are making it a little harder for advertisers to market uh, to their target audience, it's raising the bar, which, which I think is, uh, which is excellent for, for consumers especially, because it means that they're encountering more engaging, interesting, compelling experiences. If they're going to opt into something using their remote control, which is what our consumers do, it certainly has to be interesting enough or motivating enough to do that. And so, you know, inventing, reinventing, the only thing sort of ironic about that is that people thought that television was being reinvented over a decade ago. And it's only been the last year and a half or so that it's really taken hold. Well, I think what's, what's really inspiring to me is the ability to create an all-encompassing experience for a consumer as a consumer and as someone who came into this industry from outside it, from the outside looking in um, and sort of saw things that we wanted to address through our work, you know, some of the most exciting aspects of the digital age are that you can create all-encompassing experiences for consumers. It's not about sort of plastering things up in different media. It's about creating this singular consumer experience. So no matter where they encounter it, um, they're having an organic sort of um, natural extension of whatever they're doing right through that encounter and so this is what we love most about technologies that we're able to create these seamless experiences that really motivate people to engage I think it's the reality um, how well most companies are able to manage through that change effectively is a whole nother question um, and there are so many entrenched models that are serving as impediments to being able to embrace the change associated with the digital media landscape that um, you know as much as it is a fact that it is a digital media landscape there's a lot of lot of challenges for for the advertisers who are trying to conquer that space the single biggest challenge uh, for a marketer today is the ability to understand and apply what's most important about a t technology's capabilities to their own marketing objectives, right? So there's this sort of incommunicado between business and technology, not just in this industry, in any industry. And the single biggest challenge for advertisers out there is understanding specifically how they should be applying technology to raise the bar on effectiveness. Um, it's very difficult for them to do. No one's schooled in it yet. I think the consumer finally sort of does, wants to be um, noticed. I think the consumer is invisible. Um, and I think what's lovely about, you know, the transformation that is occurring in the marketplace today is that unfortunately for the, you know, for the rest of industry, they're going to have to come to terms with, the, with what the consumer wants now and they're going to have to cater to the consumer in much more sort of compelling, robust ways than they ever have before. So from a con it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely day for the consumer um, because for marketers to stay relevant in this marketplace and to remain distinctive as marketers, as brands, and as products, they're going to have to deliver something that's of interest to the consumer. That wasn't necessarily the case before digital media came to be because now you can actually measure it.